Hello, my beautiful Leos. This is your March reading. Welcome to my channel. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Make sure to also look at your North Node. That is the direction that, <coughs> excuse me, that is the direction that you are moving towards, okay? So this is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and North Node for Leo for March Love Predictions. Thank you. Let's take a look. We're also going to take a look at Karmic Energies. And at the end of the reading, please have a question ready. We're going to do a quick pick a card, one, two, or three. You can ask three questions or you can just choose one and pick a card. All right. If you are new, please hit the like and subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. And if you're returning, make sure you hit that bell. All right. Let's take a look, guys. What is going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising in the month of March? If you want to work with me, guys, all my info is down below. You can send me an email if you'd like to work closer with me. I don't read over email, so please also don't send me information about situations. If you plan on working with me, I like to read from not knowing anything, just so you can be wowed. <laughs> I don't read. I do coaching and healing and work with ceremonial plants, okay? What is going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Thank you, Venus. Wow, Leo, lots of great things coming in for you in March. Divine Feminine Energy is showing up very strong here. We have the Milk and Honey card, so this is really beautiful. Um, this is what's happening in your mind. You want your full abundance, Leo. Like, you, you just want your full abundance. You're ready for it. You want it all. You want to move towards it. There is an... I've never noticed that. There's an elephant. I love elephants. As you can see, I have Ganesh, I have elephants. Um, yeah, and this is so fascinating because there's an, I've never noticed there's an elephant swimming in the milk and honey. And Ganesh is all about remover of obstacles. He's one of my favorites. Um, so yeah, there's definitely um, abundance that's coming here. So in your heart, you're, you're creating a lot of space in your heart. You're cleaning things up. You're looking at the purity of things. You're tapping into and acting your divine feminine energy, which is being more receptive uh, to love, open to love, um, honoring the feelings that are deep within. And you're resting in this in the month of March. So yeah, let's take a look at the tarot before we get into the Kipper and the Island Wellness. Let's take a look. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. What is going on? If you want to learn tarot, I'm doing a tarot in my membership. I do videos and um, guidance and bi-weekly calls and meditations and activations. So if that's something you're interested in, take a look down below. Or you can email me for more info. But I'm about to start some tarot videos and how to intuitively channel, not guides. <laughs> I work directly with Source. I don't work with anybody in between. No thanks. <laughs> uh, what is going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and North Node, please, Spirit, for March? What is going on for Leo? Queen of Wands in reverse here. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse, King of Cups. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is there's definitely like a karmic situation. We're going to look at karmic situations as well. So we're going to take a look at what karma is playing out in your life, in your love life for March and how that's healing. But there's definitely a block that's happening here. It could be a third party situation. We'll take a look at that. It doesn't have to be, but... We'll look at that. Seen clearly through uh, with the High Priestess. Page of Cups. Queen of Cups. We've got two counterparts here, okay? These are two people that are meant to be together, Leo. The King and Queen of Cups, okay? They're divine counterparts. They're on in complete separation. How I'm seeing this is on either side of the spread here. Um, because this person is with someone who's karmic, okay? Somebody that uses sexuality, sensuality, passion, and chemistry, addictive type of human lustful love as attraction, claiming its soul connection. Um, it's very much chemical responses and conditioning is what I'm getting here. And there's something happening here. If you are 
yeah, this is feeling a little twin flamey to me, but let's let's take a look. Let's go a little deeper. It doesn't have to be twin flame, but there's definitely something that's disrupting um, this milk and honey from coming in from a masculine energy. It can be also bringing um, love into your life. There may be a block in your own sensuality. There may be a block in your own understanding of your own sensuality attractiveness how you feel about yourself so if this isn't somebody that you're thinking of specifically that could be the case that your counterpart is in alignment i see this as an alignment coming towards each other but still in a separation so you may not may know this person you may not know this person okay but there definitely is something in regards to a block from this pure abundance okay leo so let's take a look here let's take a look at the island time first before we get into the tipper let's see what is actually happening here what is going on for leo so i'm going rising in venus for march please spirit what is going on for leo sun moon and rising and venus thank you and north no let's see what's going on in the mind the heart thank you the actions, the intentions, and the outcome. All right. <laughs> we got the chaser here on the Divine Feminine. Heartbroken. Yeah. There's been a breakup here or a separation. We have the axe. It's taken away from this beautiful abundance. This is a 6, uh, 51, which is the purest abundance, the sweetness of life, the, you know, spirit's love. Uh, and there's been a breakup about this because of... Uh, influences from something else okay and it doesn't have to be a person it could be a block within self about sensuality feeling good enough all of those things um i feel this is a very uh attraction based thing that maybe you don't feel good enough to attract what you desire or there's some kind of block that's happening in your sacral um this is about cleaning up any heartbreak that may have happened out of this situation and seeing things clearly and using your intuition and trusting the heart space more you're building up the heart chemistry is what i'm seeing more so than um following the mind this is what you're thinking about but this is what you're really feeling that this feminine energy may have chased in the past okay but it just caused a lot of pain and so you're loving self now feminine energy okay could also be that if you have and you're not chasing anybody or dealing with codependency and you've healed codependency spirit is saying this is the other person is feeling feminine and has been blocked by karmic energies but feeling feminine energy deeply and wanting to come forward as this person ends pain and wanting to apologize so take it as it resonates for others it's um because getting like very 12 we have runner chaser on the bottom okay so this is just what's happening here so there's this is what i'm saying i'm feeling it's a very twin flamey connection um there's definitely some type of codependency back and forth push and pull that's been happening um if you don't have anybody this is definitely something that's inside of you that you're imbalanced within self with codependency and you're trying to heal and get deeper within your feminine energy and look at where you've been chasing and where you've been running. Um, but it's definitely, if you are in a twin flame situation, this is definitely feeling more like a twin flame kind of situation. Let's take a look here. What is going on with the clipper? We're going to clarify afterwards. But what is going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus? And North Note, please. Spirit, for the month of March. Thank you. Let's clarify a little bit more. We are going to look at karmic situations. So take karma as its law of attraction. Okay, guys, there's no karmic debt. It's just stuff of the soul, things that, you know, it's not just this life. We can't look at one life as one timeline. We are constantly cycling. There is no beginning. There is no end. So this can be from eons ago. That's something that you haven't been able to evolve out of. Okay. I wasn't ready for that spirit. So yeah, let's see what's going on. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, and North Node, please. What is going on? Can we have one for each? Heart, headspace, please. Heart space. Thank you. Actions and outcome. Thank you. Okay. Courtship, see? There's something happening here. Someone is chasing concern. All right, Leo. Yeah, family. Okay, so 
This is what I'm seeing here. There was a breakup or something in a family situation, all right? You may have been with this person, may have been in a family or no, felt like family, felt like home, felt like this was the abundance, but there was a breakup because of some type of karmic energies that were coming through, okay? And because of that, um, yeah, it's about wanting to get this closeness back, really. It created a lot of entrapment, both for your person and if it's not, you're dealing with somebody, but I'm just going to read it as I, as I bring it, because I don't feel this person is single. If this is not your reading, it's not your reading, because I keep wanting to say if you don't have a person, but I feel like this is somebody that you already know. There's about a place of ending regrets and entrapment here. This person does feel trapped and stuck, and so how is this helping for Leo? And so, Leo, you've really just been kind of back and forth with this, and I feel like in your heart, you're just cleaning it up. Like you, this, you know, logically what's happened here. You know that this is the counterpart for you. Okay. Um, but you're just juggling. You're like back and forth. You're like, and I don't feel like it's like juggling too many things. I feel like you're debating and weighing the pros and cons and being like, yeah, but like it's stuck. It's not moving anywhere. And yeah, it, there was an ending here that because Nobody didn't want her to work on this divine love partnership. There's a decision that was made here. We have the death with the eight of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this was because of karmic energies that nothing was actually worked on. There was no focus on it. Um, there was an ending to this divine connection. Okay, we have here, um, there's heartbreak and there's concern. You're cleaning it up and you're seeing things clearly. Um and you're using your intuition to just move forward. I feel you you have moved forward from this, Leo. I'm feeling this is your person coming through very strongly. Um, we have the knight wanting to passionately, has not has been in and out, was very player type energy, was in and out, um, wasn't giving to the situation. Things were hidden because of a fear of change that this love, you know, would bring in a lot of change. Yeah, the passion is there though, okay? There is a new passionate beginning that's starting here as you clean up your heartbreak. This concern for heartbreak and cleaning up spirit. Yeah, spirit is saying heal that. I was clarifying these two. Heal that right now because there's karmic justice that's coming. This is a destined connection, okay? There is something. So you cleaning up the betrayal, you cleaning up all of the concerns, you cleaning up what was hidden, the in and out, not being given, the fear of change, all of that will start to shift things in this connection. I feel that you're on a precipice point of shifting. This is about ending pain and giving yourself that love. Yeah, becoming illuminated to what is actually happening here. You may have chased in the past. You're realizing that just created pain, so you're ending. Clarify the chaser here. You're just ending that type of um, energy. Yeah, it didn't bring you any type of renewal of spirit. It actually brought a lot more judgment. Um, it didn't. It didn't help you at all. So, you're giving yourself that love now. This is why things are probably shifting. Look at this. The emperor is here, okay, ready to rise, letting go of control of the situation. Yeah, the truth is coming out here, okay, where you've been blocked, letting go of uh, your defenses here, letting things down where you've been blocked because the truth is coming in for communication here. You're just following the truth. You know the truth of this, but you know that you had to clean up the heart vibration, okay? So let's take a look at, um, you're opening up here. Being in divine feminine energy, you're leaving this to spirit. I see this sometimes as, you know, it could be court matters, but I'm really seeing this as, you know, spirit coming in with the two people being like, yeah, this is at the order of what it's supposed to be like. Um, you're moving on, you're taking time for yourself, you're resting, you're healing, you're letting go of attachments, okay? Really beautiful. So this is a time of healing. You're letting spirit, yeah, you're letting go of this attachment to this king of pentacles here. You know that it's just whenever this clears up, maybe it will be, but you're loving self and you're really moving into a higher vibration, Leo. That's what I'm seeing in love. You're open to other things. Yeah, celebrations, friendships have been ended, um, and you're investing in self, really, okay? Because this person is completely blocked. This person is ending a nine of cups situation, right? So you're, I, I feel that you're, this is really beautiful divine feminine energy because you're noticing where you have chased in the past and you wanted things. You may be a go-getter. You're like, yes, I want this, but spirit is telling showing me here that you've really learned 
that this is up to the divine and you're letting it go and you're open to wherever spirit leads you and you're having faith in that. So yeah, let's take a look at your karmic situation. Um, Cause that came up right away in your main spread. So there must be more that spirit wants to bring up about what's happened in your situation in regards to the karmic, uh, the karma. So again, I'm sorry guys, if this wasn't your reading and you're single, um, I have to read how the cards come out guys. All right. So let's take a look at the karmic situation. This is karmic karma situation, karmic stuff for Leo, sun, moon and rising, please spirit. What's going on for the karma that Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, please, Spirit? What is the karma that is working out in the month of March, please, in this love situation, please? What is going on for karma, please? In the karmic situation, please, for Sun, Moon. <laughs> this came out, so we'll take a look. There's a co-creation and a fork in the road that's happening. So spirit is coming in to create something. So that's going to make people have to choose. So let's take a look. What is going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising of Venus and North Node in the karmic situation? Thank you. Mind space, heart space. Four cards, please, spirit. Oh, that's too many. And one more. They gave me three anyway, so they want me to take the three. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Now we've got the yang energy. Wow. <laughs> this is a very potent reading, Leo. Fork in the road is out again. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I love the things. Right now. The karmic situation is clearing out. There's a lot of um, upheaval that's happening right now, okay? We have the fork in the road that came out again. Decisions are going to have to be made about which way to go, okay? So this is why, Leo, you're being told to leave it alone. Um, people are asking a lot of whys and digging deeper of what this connection really is. Um, the masculine energy is present in actioning this karmic situation okay so spirit is saying to you leo right now it's not for you but this is a never-ending story i feel this is very much a twin flame situation it never ends and spirit has it the higher powers have it right now okay this is all very yin energy too is what i'm seeing the pink colors again because i was thinking of how much it matched my my stone there um and this is just the never-ending story of of that just keeps going on and on and on 10 the cycle is about to end though okay so this is six and four is a 10 as well so there's definitely completion that's happening wow let's take a look and see what the tarot says fascinating what is going on with leo's karmic situation sun moon rising and venus and north no yeah people are definitely moving i'm seeing diversions of paths um shifting Whatever path this person that you've been thinking of or that you have a very deep bond with is being asked to choose, you're being asked of how to move forward as well. And you're choosing self, Leo, is what I've been seeing. So let's see. What's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Moon? No, thank you. What's going on with Leo? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow. In the karmic situation and north node thank you look at this judgment judgment came out in reverse before so this karmic situation is getting um a judgment god is reviewing it spirit is reviewing it and saying yeah nah let's bring it into proper alignment here we have the moon the ten of pentacles and the knight of wands in reverse okay empress right on the bottom there afterwards okay in reverse we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, cleaning up Betrayal. Two of Swords in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. And the Page of Wands. Okay. So what I'm seeing here as I'm shuffling, we'll just go through this. In the Fork of the Road, I'm seeing that there is definitely some type of um, renewal that's happening in this karmic situation. Karmic um, decisions. Like this isn't just, this isn't the Justice card. I'm not reading it as that. But it's like God's decisions, not human decisions, not 
just karmic justice, but decisions coming down from the divine saying, you got to clean up this betrayal. This betrayal is not in alignment here. Okay. This karmic situation um, has to be renewed. Um, a decision has to be made to clean up the betrayal of this karmic situation. So things can be renewed. Okay. Um, the why is that people are really asking, you know, about their fears. Why are they so afraid? Here and seeing things clearly in this karmic situation, knowing the moon, the moon is not necessarily about fears and things being hidden. It's also about having to walk through the dark and ready to face your shadows. So whatever both of you have been having to walk through your shadows and face things that you may not have wanted to face here, but this masculine energy is stop fighting for family um, because of, uh, of this commitment. Okay, this is commitment, marriage, and wants to stop fighting. Um, commitment may have had a fear of commitment, wants to, um, stop fighting for their, uh, family, you know, um, not for their family. It's like, they just don't want to fight with their family anymore. You know, they may have have a family structure or something and there's been a lot of fighting. They just don't want to fight anymore. You know, there's a new discovery path that's opening up here that spirit is leading the karmic situations down. We have like, this is why things have been delayed right now. So let's take a look here. What is going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node in March? Thank you, spirit. Mind space. This is for Leo. Heart space. Eh, it's about children. Healing inner child wounds. Yeah. False person is out. Masculine energy. Yang. This, this masculine may have picked a privileged lady. <laughs> we got main man. I may clarify a little bit more here. Okay. So, yeah, let's get another one. So this child, there's this inner child feeling could be about that we have to choose for the children. There's a high honor for the children, okay? Could be children that are involved. It's, it has to be about choosing for the kids, choosing for family life cleaning up betrayal against any children that may have been involved, that they have to be put first. Like, that's really the basis of real partnership. It's about the kids, not about anybody else. <laughs> it's always about the children first. Um, so there's a high honor here. If kids aren't involved, this is about really healing that inner child work and recognizing that the work that Divine Feminine has really done here has healed a lot of that inner child. There's a renewal here that's happening in the karmic situation because there's a massive amount of healing that's happened. This is, the karmic situations are, are, are realizing that this is a false person that is in the mix here. There's a lot of fear that's coming up. This false person may have been working and working so hard. So there's like something clearing with this false person is starting to see clearly about their own fears and why things were certainly hidden. This masculine energy has been dealing with a privileged person. This is a person who hasn't had to hustle or do a lot of work in their life. Um, they do the basics that everybody does. Um, it's, it's, and then they expect a shitload of abundance. I hate people like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say hate. I really don't like people like this. Is the people that have taken advantage of me my whole life. You need to put work into your life. I'm sorry. Like you just do. Um, you, you want certain gifts, you want certain things in abundance to come to you, but you don't actually hustle for it or work for it you just expect it because of some type of way of thinking this masculine energy was dealing with this type of person and there and that's because there was something within themselves that was very privileged right there's a gift coming from this karmic situation here hmm let's see what that is i feel they they don't want to fight this type of mare i feel like this is a commitment and family Something's happening with this karmic situation. We're going to see here. And the main man, this is not for you right now, spirit is saying, because this person is changing. There's massive shift and change that's happening. So there's a higher power to end their like player ways and to discover themselves. So there's definitely something that's happening here in this karmic situation. All right, let's do some island time and clarify a little bit. And then we'll pick your... Uh, pick a card reading. This is a fascinating reading, though, so I don't want to go above 30 minutes, but let's, let's see. Let's see. What is going on with Leo, Summon, Rising, and Venus in North Node? Thank you, Spirit. So this is, um, yeah, let's just get one for each. Mind, thank you. Heart. Got three for heart. Actions and outcome. Thank you. Wow. 
All right, unconditional love, coffee cup, the past moving on to a higher place. Yeah, wow. Okay, guys, this is fascinating. And this one is taking a leap of faith. Okay, so what I'm seeing here in the karmic situation is, you know, there is definitely um, people making decisions right now, renew, cleaning up the betrayal. Someone's willing to take a risk for a higher honor. Okay, somebody's cleaning up their karma um, for the innocence of their ch their family, their children, or for their inner child work is what they've been doing. They've been healing very deeply. Look at that. That's the King of Cups. It's shown up again. So this masculine is looking at where he's been manipulated out of ever starting something new. Feels a little foolish here, a little sad and depressed, but um, complacent as well a little bit. The sun in reverse is kind of like things aren't fully illuminated. So they're coming into a place of illumination. They're starting to have a renewal. They're starting to clean this up because they're noticing their own high honor here. Where they were manipulated out of um this new beginning and nothing ever really got started here so this person is wanting to take a risk um what's happening here with the karmic situation is there's been a lot of nostalgia here in regards to you know the past and moving on to union and this person is asking what has been asking oh, really why why it's so hard how much work i put into this false person They've had to be in this karmic situation. The more that they put work into this person, they had to keep asking why. The more they put in, the more darkness showed up. The more they put in, the harder things became because they were denying uh, their actual real connection of who they're actually connected to. They're learning their spiritual lessons and seeing things clearly of where their fears have gotten them and knowing that they have to face the fears. Clarify the higher front here, please, for it. That's the emperor rising up. Look at that. Knowing what real marriage and commitment is and what this masculine's dreams really are and where he's been sad and confused with his actual dreams, with his ten of cups. Uh, we have ten of cups in reverse with the ten of pentacles. So this masculine really wants to stop fighting. The wheel hasn't turned yet, but wants to stop fighting and actioning the truth and communicating with family. Taking, you know, looking at this privileged lady with this gift, may having to buy this person out, but moving forward, okay, um, I feel that this, this karmic energy is letting go. Clarify that. Yeah, this karmic energy is moving through and noticing that this is the, the feminine, the divine feminine in reverse at a distance is actually the real wish fulfillment. I feel that they're meeting up and having conversations and speaking the truth of the matter. I feel that this is coming into a clearing that this karmic energy is willing to gift, knowing that they don't get redemption either until they sacrifice as well. Remember, everything that spirit wants you to sacrifice your own desires to come closer to spirit. That's the human way, right? Yeah, this is blocked. This person was blocked. This karmic energy was blocked from this before, but I feel is starting to recognize that they have to close off the past. Wow. So here, Spirit is saying right now, it's not for you. This masculine is changing due to, uh, based on the unconditional love that Leo, you that you've been doing here, right? Queen of Pentacles is uh, my Divine Feminine card. And so, yeah, really doing the work because you have been really moving on and giving yourself that love and revealing the truth of your soul. So this masculine is changing, not for you right now. So there's still a lot of change that's happening in March. Um, cleaning up betrayals and ending old, you know, party ways and things like that. So yeah, um, it's a time for massive change for the masculine energy in this connection, this going within and finding deeper healing. All right. Wow. All right, Leo, think of your question. You can think of one question. You can think of three questions I'm going to pull and we're going to take them upright and it's just a yes or no. And this will be your reading. Okay. So this is Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Wow. Some profound energies came through for you, Leo. Really? You're, you're masculine or whoever you're thinking of. Um, really wanted to bring that through. So Let's take a look. What is going on for Sun, Moon, and Rising, Leo, and North Node? Yes or no, Spirit? Thank you. All right. Card number one. Card number two. And card number three. 
Okay, for card number one, we have the Seven of Wands. I'm going to take that as a no right now. Um, I'm feeling there's a lot of defensive energy and that the time is just not right. And so this person is really standing on guard and saying, mm, you know what? No, I don't know if I really want you to come up here. It may take persuasion and convincing, but I feel like it's more of a no. And why would you want to convince anybody of anything? So Spirit doesn't want you to get into a power struggle with anything. So just accept that this is no for right now. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands. I'm going to say that that is um, a yes if you truly, truly desire it, okay? That if this is something you truly desire, then it's definitely going to be a yes. And you're going to have to um, realize that when you... Yeah, when you passionately feel that way that you have to let that passion integrate into your physical world. And so to not have doubt when you make that decision, okay? And the last card, we have the Fool, which is a definite yes, okay? So no, yes, yes. All right, guys, so much love. If you like that, please comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed that. It really helps my channel to grow. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye, guys.